Bringing the Xbox brand out of a patchwork of first and third party studios, a deficit of games development funding, and a string of critically low rated exclusives comes Xbox Game Studios, a collective team of 15 studios around the world creating unique content for Xbox and Microsoft's PC platform. Xbox Game Studios is structured to bolster great first party games now and in the future. But are these studios ready to compete with the best games in the industry? This is Cold Eastwood, one of the most common comments I get on videos regarding hardware and even Xbox's roadmap for next generation is what matters is the games. And I'm going to talk strictly about the games for Xbox starting now and into the future. If you're interested in Xbox related news and discussion, like and subscribe to the channel, hit the bell to be notified of new content, and let's talk about what is planned and potentially coming out for Xbox in the next year and a half from Xbox Game Studios. Xbox Game Studios was commissioned in the wake of a difficult 2017 and 2018 when Xbox struggled with rough, unpolished first-party segments of the Xbox history, plagued by low review scores, few and far between exclusives, and a lack of brand new AAA IPs. Xbox Game Studios is comprised of old and new talent spanning a wide variety of skills to the top-tier shooters, top-rated racing games, and some of the most imaginative indie developers over the past 20 years in the industry. Xbox Game Studios is just over a year old with studios nearing completion on games before being brought to the Xbox family. To understand how Microsoft will get out of the Xbox has no games narrative, we need to look at each studio and see what they are working on and what potential they have based on previous work. Undead Labs just released State of Decay 2 last year and they are still bringing updates and additional content to the zombie survival simulator. Launching with performance and visual bugs, story takes a backseat to online co-op and gameplay is nowhere near as fluid as games in this genre. Now with Undead Labs acquired by Xbox Game Studios, the team is set free to work on a third State of Decay game with more funding and more time. They must bring the series out of the AA indie bubble if they want to catch the attention of a more mainstream gaming audience. Rare may have released one of the most high profile, critically panned exclusives of this entire console generation, but also one of the most imaginative online adventure games of the decade with Sea of Thieves. Now Rare is working with De La La Studios to create a vibrant hand-drawn Saturday morning cartoon three-player couch co-op Battletoads Revival Game. The game is previewing very well with critics and although playable at E3 2019, no release date is set for this collaboration with Rare. Speaking to the head of Rare, Craig Duncan at E3 2019, his team is happily working on their next game. And if you look at the Rare pedigree, we have every right to be excited about the next colorful game dreamed up by Rare. Sounds like we'll hear all about it next year. A big acquisition of a small game developer with unique ideas is Tim Schafer's Double Fine Studio. Double Find has brought gaming to the most creative and imaginative games such as Psychonauts and Jack Black's heavy metal action RPG, Brutal Legend. Xbox Game Studios is harboring a wide variety of talent with a focus on funding without hindering creativity and Tim Schafer has recently boasted that his team has been able to keep their identity left alone with funding. To continue to create colorful visionary adventures that people have come to expect from Double Fine, Psychonauts 2 is coming from Xbox Game Studios first as a multi-platform release in 2020, but Double Fine's next project is the roguelike game Rad, an isometric action game exploding with color, also a multi-platform game which many of these studios will release until original publishing rights are satisfied. In Exile is about to release Wasteland 3, a turn-based RPG coming out of Xbox Game Studios that will also be multi-platform but after being acquired by Microsoft has been delayed from 2019 to early 2020. Brian Fargo, head of In Exile, has said that their team was stuck between AA and AAA production where it was difficult to find publishing support. Now with Xbox Game Studio support, the next In Exile game will be closer to AAA to better compete within the industry. Compulsion Games brought us We Happy Few, a promising 60s era, post-World War inspired psychedelia with life for noise, pop a joy, that had heart hidden deep down in a story that took far too long to unmask. Fortunately, the head of Compulsion, GM Provost, 
comes from Arcane Studios, the creator of the beloved Dishonored series. Compulsion may bring more finely tuned first person action adventure games that focuses on social interaction in dangerous situations. We Happy Few was cobbled together with a mix of crowdfunding and Gearbox's last minute publishing solution to get the final product out. Compulsion Games will have full support of Microsoft with software and funding for their next game. Ninja Theory has created iconic games with melee combat such as Devil May Cry, Heavenly Sword, and the haunting Hellblade Senua's Sacrifice. And this is where the pedigree made Bleeding Edge possible. This is a melee focused team arena competitive game with colorful characters with varying attacks and ultras. It had such a good showing that it drew attention and won an award for best in show at E3 from GameSpot. Ninja Theory has been working on Bleeding Edge for the past few years, long before Xbox Game Studios acquired them. Ninja Theory has one more surprise ready to show the world at E3 2020, which may be a mix of Enslave Odyssey to the West action adventure combat, driven gameplay, and Hellblade's mature single player narrative. Ninja Theory is definitely one of the first from Xbox to watch for. Obsidian has a 20 year history of creating the world's most visceral, immersive RPGs which came to full fruition in Fallout New Vegas. Now that feeling of crafting a character in the wild has been translated to the stars with Outer Worlds. Critics are calling Outer Worlds the best Fallout game in years set in space. This is where Obsidian will show their mettle as Outer Worlds will release on all platforms, even PS4 and PC's Epic Game Store to satisfy agreements made before Microsoft brought the team into Xbox Game Studios. But before all that closed, Outer Worlds was able to be included in Xbox Game Pass. So Game Pass subscribers can experience this massive game for only $10. We won't hear about Obsidian's next game anytime soon, but expect them to be the premier source of RPGs from Xbox Game Studios. Obsidian is hiring a lead developer for their next big RPG with branching dialogue and countless hours of gameplay to lose yourself. And this could be an Outer Worlds exclusive Xbox sequel or something altogether brand new. Minecraft needs no introduction. It's nearly the single biggest game in history, ubiquitous on nearly every device. Minecraft has expanded in every direction with updates and user-created mods, and now Minecraft has expanded below to a full-fledged dungeon crawler RPG equipped with crafting, inventory management, and exploration. Minecraft, known to most as Mojang Studios, is part of Xbox Game Studios, but the Minecraft property is fully multi-platform, which means with the reach of the name, potential, and platforms available, Minecraft Dungeons could be Xbox Game Studios biggest game to come out next year, and it's included in Xbox Game Pass. Turn 10 is the team responsible for taking the crown of the racing simulator genre over to Xbox. Forza Motorsports has continually finished top podium with gorgeous visuals, gripping Forza DNA physics behind the wheel and under the tires. Forza 7 proved that Turn 10 could take the photorealism and dynamic weather on real world racing tracks into a 4K60 presentation and Microsoft decided to give Turn 10 an extra year to create something special in Forza Motorsports 8. Forza Motorsports has been releasing every two years and an extra year of development is exactly what the series needs to build a true eighth iteration of Forza Motorsports. Plus the added benefit of spending the development time specifically for next generation hardware. You thought Forza 7 looked incredible on the Xbox One X? Just wait until you see it running on Xbox Project Scarlet. Playground Games is the other driving game studio with Xbox. They too have the crown on the best racing games in the business. But the real surprise coming from Playground is their second team, called the RPG Team. Xbox Game Studios already has In Exile and Obsidian as the RPG experts, but Playground's second team is busy crafting the next full chapter in the long-awaited Fable series. Lionhead developers that have long been since removed since Fable Legends was cancelled in 2016 have joined with the Playground Fable team. Everyone is hoping for a big advancement from the fourth game from 2010. Many are thinking that this may be a true Fable reboot, to more closely represent the original games with more advanced graphics and visual effects. And knowing Xbox, Fable may have an online co-op component as well as a competitive multiplayer mode that closely resembles what they promised to deliver with Fable Legends a few years ago. 
343 is the Halo team, crafting the Master Chief saga for the past 10 years, Halo 5 in 2015, and now, finally Halo Infinite set for holiday 2020. The 343 team is working to find the perfect balance of old and new with Halo Infinite by bringing the iconic Master Chief back to the center after 10 long years since he has taken a backseat with the ODST, Noble Six, and Osiris team throughout the last through Halo installations. Halo Infinite will be showcased on Next Generation Project Scarlet in an all-new Slipstream engine. Halo Infinite promises to capture the wonder and the vibrancy that took the world by storm as a shooter on console almost 20 years ago. Microsoft promises to bring its iconic multiplayer experience along with the gameplay reveals set for E3 2020. To release in the early fall of 2019, the Coalition's Gears 5 will make a big impact on the AAA offerings for Xbox One this generation. The Coalition proved that they can make a great Gears game with the fourth one in 2016, and now they've set out to show us an incredible Gears game with a gripping story and character development in a more open world. Three-player co-op with more varied environments and gameplay and combat features. The Coalition's Rod Ferguson says that Gears 5 is really five games built into one, with each mode having its own identity and breadth, especially with Horde Escape featuring unique characters with their own backstory. The campaign for Gears 5 is all about Kate and her eternal struggle with herself and fighting the influence of the Locust Queen as her, JD, and Dell dive into ancient ruins to find the genesis of the Locust to save humanity. Finally, the last thing to come out of Xbox Studios is what fans have been asking for the most an action-adventure game from The Initiative. The Initiative Studio is a Santa Monica, California-based studio comprised of legendary game talent ranging from Sony's best studios, Rockstar's producers, and led by Daryl Gallagher, the former head of Square Enix, helping craft Tomb Raider, Deus Ex, and Shooters Destiny and Call of Duty. Gallagher knows AAA blockbusters and is the perfect fit to lead Xbox's next big blockbuster. To round things out, the game director for the initiative, Drew Murray of Sunset Overdrive, Resistance, and Ratchet and Clank will bring the imagination and variety to the grit and mature tone of what the initiative will build for Xbox Game Studios. Knowing the DNA of great teams that have worked on Grand Theft Auto and God of War, expect a massive third-person action adventure shooter from the initiative. Next year, Microsoft wants to showcase the initiative and talk about their work. And with that kind of experience, Xbox Game Studios has a lot to get people excited about to see with over a dozen E3 Game Award nominations and 10 new games coming out of Xbox Game Studios before the end of next year. 10 games to end the generation, and then new games to start next generation. Xbox Game Studios was the move that Xbox needed more than anything and it looks like they aren't done growing anytime soon. This is Colt Eastwood, thank you so much for watching. I created a similar video like this in the fall of 2018. There'll be a link for that at the end of the video if you wanna compare how things look then and how they're looking now. If you've enjoyed this video, like and subscribe to the channel for more, and if you'd like to join the channel and support the work I'm doing, that would be helpful in me getting out as much content as I can. If you add me on Xbox and Twitter at Colt Eastwood, you can ask me questions or just talk gaming. Have a great week. I hope you have your summer gaming lined up until Gears 5 and Borderlands 3 kick off. And as always, please remember, be nice.